Hey everyone, I'm Clark Rarig. I'm a PM at Microsoft working on the Windows AI platform. And I'm super excited to talk to you about some new investments we've made inside of WSL. And it's bringing GPU acceleration focused on ML workloads. And this has been a super exciting thing to engage on and understand your feedback as this has been the number one request from WSL users since WSL was first released. And, and we really got to dig in and understand what you all wanted in terms of GPU acceleration. And it was really to focus on the machine learning workflows that you all use. What is machine learning? Machine learning is an area of computer science focused on defining algorithms that can help make predictions or infer on particular problems. So take, for example, you want to identify a cat in an image. You can actually train a machine learning model to identify that there's a cat in an image or that there isn't one and use that to add intelligence to a given application or service. What is GPU acceleration and how does it apply to machine learning? GPUs are really good at parallelizing mathematical computations. And so they're really good when you're in your model training stage to you know, define the algorithm and do the actual training with the data set to develop some model, uh, like in the example I was talking about with identifying a cat. And GPUs, because GPUs can actually do all this parallel computation, they're actually super useful when um, developing deep learning models like convolutional neural nets or recurrent neural nets. And so they're a very key part of any developer's machine learning workflow. You might be asking yourself, can I actually run my full ML workflow inside of WSL with GPU acceleration? And now, with the preview we released, you can. If you're an existing professional, you can now use CUDA, NVIDIA's CUDA, inside your workflow just as you would on native Linux. And if you're a student or beginner, you can actually try out our TensorFlow with DirectML preview package to leverage the existing hardware you already have. If you're an existing professional, like a data scientist or ML engineer, you're probably asking, how can I leverage NVIDIA's CUDA inside of WSL? And so as we talked with many of you out there, we came to understand that you wanted to use your existing workflows just as you do on native Linux. And so we've collaborated closely with NVIDIA to expose CUDA inside of WSL and make sure that all your existing workflows work exactly as you expect, including things like NVIDIA's tool, toolkit and making sure that Docker containers work and are well supported uh, inside the WSL environment. I'm sure many of you are excited to learn how to get set up. So you can follow along at the short URL, aka.ms slash GPU in WSL docs and Let's get things going. The first thing that you'll want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you're registered for the Windows Insider dev channel preview builds. And so this machine, I already have registered on those. So good to go there. Just make sure you're on a build number greater than 20150. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and install uh, NVIDIA's uh, CUDA-enabled preview driver. All right, so you can get the preview driver from NVIDIA's site by coming right here and saying, get the CUDA preview driver. And for this particular system, I need the Quadro version. So I'm going to go ahead and hit download on that. Now that we have that downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install the driver here. 
So just going to go ahead and agree and continue here. In this case, I'm just going to run the Express install, but you can also uh, do the custom install if that suits your fancy. So now that we have the driver installed, we can go ahead and jump in to getting things set up inside WSL. So I've also already set this machine up with WSL2 and an Ubuntu instance. If you're looking for guidance on how to get set up, definitely check out the WSL2 docs or the previous episode of Tabs vs. Spaces talking about WSL2. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and jump back over to my web browser here and um, pull up the developer docs for getting set up with the CUDA toolkit. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I'm going to go ahead and copy this command here. And all of these you're going to want to do in an elevated uh, prompt. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch into root here. And then um, paste this first command. And so this is the, the necessary setup to actually get the appropriate version of the CUDA toolkit installed. So I'm just going to run through these commands here. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and kick off the uh, install of the CUDA toolkit. Now that the CUDA toolkit is installed, uh, we can actually make sure everything's working as we expect by going ahead and navigating to one of the samples that was installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and change directories into this example and just really quickly uh, build it here. Uh, it'll take should just take a moment um, to get that built out. And now I can actually go ahead and run this example and see that um, WSL here is actually you know, successfully accessing the GPU uh, on my system. So now I, I want to show you how to get everything set up to actually work with containers. So let's go ahead and um, exit out here. And I'm going to switch back to the documentation. And for to, to get Docker to work currently, uh, we don't have support yet for Docker Desktop. So you'll actually need to install the uh, Docker CE distribution. Um, and the instructions for that are right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, pull that version down. Again, just prompting here. Um, and so now we just need to install the appropriate uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA Container Toolkit support. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy these commands over from the documentation to get the right um, versions set up here. And I'm just going to run get update again and then install the container toolkit so now that we have docker installed i'm just going to go ahead and make sure that the docker service is running and then what i'm going to do in another instance of Ubuntu that I have running here, I'm going to actually go ahead and take this um, Docker command that you find on NVIDIA's uh, setup guide 
that's actually going to launch a Jupyter Notebook uh, backed by TensorFlow. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste this command in here. And we have TensorFlow launching here, and it's giving given me this URL to go ahead and put in my browser to open up the Jupyter Notebook. So I'm just going to go paste that. And one thing you're just going to want to do is change the IP address here to just say local host. Hit enter. We should launch into the Jupyter Notebook, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. And this particular image in the example, you know, has the TensorFlow tutorials uh, preloaded in here. So, you know, you could, if you're just wanting to kind of do a test of something, you can just kind of run in and, and run your various different commands. Or I'm sure, you know, many of you already have Jupyter Notebooks that you're using or different things. And so, you know, you can just go ahead and, you know, either upload them or go ahead and create uh, a new Jupyter Notebook and, and start going. If you're a beginner out there, you might be asking yourself, is there a way I can leverage my existing GPU hardware to do machine learning? And now there's an even easier way that you can with the TensorFlow with DirectML preview package. How do, we, how do you get TensorFlow with DirectML set up? Let me go ahead and show you. Let's first jump over again to the docs, which again, you can find at aka.ms slash GPU in WSL docs. And again, on this system, I, I have it set up on the right Windows Insider build, and I've already gone ahead and set up WSL2. So the next thing I need to do is go and download uh, AMD's preview driver for this particular system. So let me just switch tabs over here and um, go ahead and start that download. So now let me go ahead and kick this driver install off. You can definitely restart your machine. In this case, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and keep running with the demo. So I'm going to hit finish. So now that we have the driver installed, I'm going to go ahead and launch the WSL2 setup I already did on my system here. And within WSL2, I also already installed my uh, Python virtual environment uh, of choice through Miniconda. Also, before uh, showing you this demo, I went and cloned the DirectML uh, GitHub repo, and I'm going to show you this uh, SqueezeNet example running. And so uh, I've actually already gone ahead and done the two setup steps, which is installing some additional um, Python package requirements in my virtual environment here, and also doing a little bit of data setup. So now, since I've already done all of that, I can go ahead and jump back and navigate into um, my DirectML sample folder here with SqueezeNet. And I can actually start training. So you can find that sample and some other samples on the DirectML GitHub repo to try them out for yourself uh, and start leveraging the existing GPU you already have in your system with the TensorFlow with DirectML package. One of the great questions of our times, tabs versus spaces. Uh, in the ML community, a lot of folks use Python, and the suggested usage there is to use spaces in your Python scripts. And so for me, I use uh, the tab key to actually go and insert four spaces when I'm writing uh, a given Python script. What's, what's next for this GPU and WSL work focused on AI workflows? Uh, we're going to be continuing to work with NVIDIA to make sure that the experience with CUDA and WSL works great, uh, and just as you would expect on native Linux, including uh, support for uh, 
all the additional tools and uh, NVIDIA CUDA tools that you've come to expect. Uh, and on the TensorFlow with DirectML side, we've actually open sourced the code that backs the TensorFlow with DirectML package. And so if you're interested, you can come and engage with us as we continue developing and working with the TensorFlow community to integrate the DirectML backend into TensorFlow. And if you're out there you know, looking to learn more or looking for support, definitely check out the links uh, on the screen. And specifically for the CUDA path, the NVIDIA developer forum is a really useful place to find answers to questions or ask questions. And with the TensorFlow with DirectML package, visit the DirectML GitHub repo uh, to ask any questions or bubble up any issues you may run into. And you know, thanks everyone for watching this episode talking about the GPU and WSL work we've been doing. Uh, super excited to continue engaging with all of you and, and making more advancements. So uh, if you want to stay in the loop on the latest and greatest, be sure to follow me on Twitter at CRARIC uh, for, for all the latest updates.